Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakal Prajapati. In this video, I will be telling you about the most important question of Bias Pack which was asked in the recent interview. This question I have received from my one of my subscribers over my email. So I thought to make a video on top of this question so that everyone will be understanding this question. Okay, <clears throat> so the question is that write a query to publish those in the second format. So this is the input. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is the input. This is the output. So what what I'm what we need to do is that you can say ki we have Rudra and we have math and 79 marks. So Rudra is also having a subject engineering and marks is 60. Likewise, you know, we have another student who's whose marks in math is 68 and whose mark uh, whose marks in English English is 59 not in, in engineering sorry for that and like Anu we have and then you know the same thing so the question I mean we have to assume that we have uh, only two subject and in the data set which is given like this here right so we first first subject will be math and second subject will be English if it is not in the case then we have to first sort the data set and then we have to apply these the, the the logic right but we can assume that right now i am assuming that the data look like this only okay so now i have created a kind of data set okay i will share you this in the link also in the description okay now i'll try to write the solution so what i'll do first let me import all the libraries or function whatever it's needed i'll just simply put here a star i believe we should not do it but i have put it put it over here now you can see with the data that you know we are having like this and the what we need we need a data like this 7960 so ideally we have to make a two columns uh, a new column which is math and english and we have to write a corresponding marks over here so why can't i do a group by on basis of name and then i can <coughs> i i can group these 79 and 60 79 will will be will be a first column and 60 will be a second column so this question you can solve via row number also i would say right i think we can solve it via row number also and then we have to apply some logics and group by also we have to but since we are using we are using a pi spark right so we can solve this question via some methods present in the pi spark so what are it ideally i would what i will do i will create here df is equal to output something like that and then df dot select select i should do no i will use a group by okay group by what call of name because because i cannot do a group by on on top of subject right correct i only have to group by on basis of name column so that you know i will group it and then i can do some ag some some aggregation uh, for this column subject column or maybe marks column right so what i'll do so what i will do i'll just uh, write here over here and then i will use here aggregation because you know that with the group by we should use uh, at least one aggregation right so i'll use here aggregation and then what i'll do i'll use a collect list method okay which is available in this function only and here what i will do i will pass here marks okay now if i quickly just run this and maybe you will you if you are someone who is experienced in sequ in the spice park then you might have understood what is the next step so this is the you know answer we receive and now what i will do quickly i'll just jump into it and i will write df output is equal to df underscore output dot select select and here i can give some alias also okay i can i can give some alias let's say marks underscore new something like that and then i can use here name because since i only want to use here name and then or else you know i can use here call of name also call of name comma call of uh, 
a marks and I need only geot index here and alias I can write here mat and then I can write call of marks again alias call of marks of one right and then in English not engineering okay we'll see it may fail marks cannot dissolve okay hmm so for that I have to actually use marks underscore new <coughs> now you can see we got the output correct yes we got the output so this is the question before I was you know doing a mistake uh, that's why it was failing now I hope that you have understood now the, there is a task that I am saying you ki this might be the case that we are having a let's say 10, 10 different subjects right 10 different subjects maybe we can have then in this case would you write like this you know marks of Jido then alias math then English then science, social study, uh, GK, right, Hindi, Sanskrit, whatever the languages are, right. So you're not gonna write like this, right. So what you can do, you can dynamically assign here aliases, maybe with the help of select expression function, maybe with the help of with column, chain, or whatever. So if you have the solution, you can paste it in the comment box so that everyone will understand. Otherwise, I will also try to make a video next video and you know so i hope that you have understood and if you are liking my these series these questions please post something on the in uh, on the linkedin and check out my courses available on my website called www.geekcoders.co.in i will give the link in the description box as well as in the i button so there are multiple courses which i have made it right and if you are liking this these kind of questions so definitely you will love my paid courses so thank you bye bye